Why do you do what you do? Probably low-key addiction. That sort of like boosts the serotonin you get when you do a reveal or you convince millions of people of like a fantasy. That blurring of lines has always been like my therapy. And I don't know, I think growing up as a queer kid, watching movies and submerging myself in a fantasy world that at the time was more appealing than the world I was currently in, enabled me to broaden my imagination. And I guess to a degree it's warped my idea of reality. And I carry that through with my work and warping lines, blurring lines and making people question what's real and what's fake. Plastic Surgery Project began very early on in my sobriety and it really gave me a purpose. And I guess to a degree it was self-harm because I put myself in such a vulnerable position already being at rock bottom. That meant a lot to me. I've done loads over the years that I felt I've needed to do, but when I say this project really is something that I feel I have to do before I leave planet Earth, I feel like this is my calling and it is just, it's my oxygen, this project. And what is it? So I'm going to become Mrs. Doubtfire. And just like that, I began the incredible process of becoming Mrs. Doubtfire. It seems of all the things people have searched about me over the years, which is no surprise, hidden away in the depth of social media, I have spoken 2,000 times about wanting to be Mrs. Doubtfire. When I did the plastic surgery project, for those that aren't aware, I successfully convinced the world that I had undergone extensive plastic surgery before tearing my face off. I knew what the outcome was gonna be. People needed a target, people needed to vent. This, this one's different. I'm doing this for me. So it's hard to miss Millennium because it's the largest studio in Europe. It's like the most captivating, magical place for me. I literally like fangirl and freak out, become such a nerd whenever I'm in there. We're working through a global pandemic. So our life um, seems to be tested every single day, but we're in, this is the casting room in Millennium. They put all the life cast and stuff they've worked with, so. Another COVID test. Makes a nice change, not having to drop my trousers and bend over, but hopefully this test is a little bit more positive than some of the other ones I've had recently. Yeah, You've got to go all the way up. Fucking hell. It's not. Look in the mirror, it's just through the nostril. What do you mean? Go up. You have to go up through the thing. Yep, I officially do not have COVID. So Millennium are the same company that produce my Alexa Stone cheekbones, which people can buy, but they're also the people that designed and made the Lady Gaga Born This Way ones. And that is Lady Gaga's life cast. So it's kind of cool that I grew up watching Lady Gaga and being amazed by all of their prosthetics, and now we have an Alexa Stone cheekbone prosthetic, so it's a full circle moment. <laughs> oh, this one fits great. Well, that was made for you. This so. one fits great. Oh my god, this is really comfy. <laughs> 3D scan time. So instead of doing a live cast, which we've done before, we're doing a 3D print, which is a computer generated yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah, so we're capturing, capturing my face from all angles and then it will go into a digital format which I'll print. So it's similar to a live cast, but I guess a more modern technique of doing it. Kind of dark.
ser det. Åh, oh dear. Åh, oh dear. Så jag speak with a Scottish accent. Det sounds like a pretty. Doing a makeup test. I don't know what accent that was. Ooh, you interrupt from me again, I'll drown you, you bastard. Are you down for you, dear? Day one in Scotland. I've been up since five in the morning. Super tired, but super excited to start shooting the 11 archived Balenciaga looks that we have to do today around literally the most surreal landscape. It's really monumental. No, the bigger one. Look one done, we are now off to, well we're driving an hour to the next location. Phone box, so. This is my favourite look. It's so nice. So we are look, I don't even know what look we are, three or four. I look gorgeous in this Balenciaga. <clears throat> We're gonna do some fishing. Do you know what? It's a long day <clears throat> and I am starting to like decompose slowly so we're trying to like stay on schedule. This is the first archive piece we're wearing. Balenciaga have kindly found someone to assist us in making sure that we don't damage anything. This is insane, look! This is what £25,000 gets you. Do you know what's even funnier? Grant, who's shooting now, is my ex-boyfriend from like 11 years ago. Don't lean into it so much. Yeah, yeah you're good. 
<laughs> right, you're crabbing. Today's been good, it's just long. I've got like zero sleep. We were working all of last week back to back doing drag. Gotta do the same again on Monday. It's just a lot. And then we've got a few days off to recharge and then... I don't know what we're doing. Oh, tush cover. So... Yeah. Do some little movements, like on the screen test, they'll look cool. going good we are at a very infamous tourist destination in which people find pleasure walking which is fascinating um and then we are going to go to our next location and finish the doubtfire experiencia de shoot I love that. This is the whole Fine, pet. How are you? <laughs> we, we'll ignore the social distancing just for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care what way my hair is. Mrs. Doubtfire is here minding me. I'm fine. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland, Bonnie, Scotland. Yeah, Woo! Um, you go off into the wilderness. Over that way, yeah. Some weeks. And just. <laughs> How much of you is left? No. Andy Stewart. Yeah, totally I'm literally being held together by this beautiful blood sucker straight off the railway. Love it, that's great, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Why are you, are you washing your hands? I fell off the bike. We are somewhere in Scotland. Look at the view. I mean, it's just, it literally is surreal. It's been the most surreal day. Still got a couple more looks. We're shooting three of the final archive looks. I'm disintegrating, guys. This is the reality of movie makeup. We've been shooting, what time did we start? I got up at 5 a.m. It's been a long day, um, but a really magical team, magical location. Magic. Scotland would be incomplete without the Loch Ness Monster. Alas, we have the Loch Ness Monster. I had to take my fat suit off, so if I'm looking skinny, that's why. This is archive. I literally can't move in this. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to touch it. What's behind you? The Loch Ness fucking monster. Or what's to be. So what I'm going to get you to do is come around whatever side you want yep. and support the waist because this is the heaviest part so we can get have one hand on either side of it. These yep. fucking fucks are driving me inside. And then, we'll, and then we'll pick it up. That's oh perfect. my god, I've never been so excited again. <laughs> so now I will unzip from the hood. Yep. Yeah, you We're all messed up. No, it's somewhere, it might be right in the front. Yeah, it's just obviously. Is it going to fit the pets? <laughs> Last look! Hush. Final look, I'm done. <laughs> I'm being attacked by bugs, I'm being a diva. It's so beautiful, but it's like hard to focus when you're literally like being eaten alive. So, gonna finish this shoot, hitchhiking, beautiful S&M, latex, Balenciaga, archive, killed it.
And the bag. And the bag. Oh, and the bag. There's the Balenciaga bodyguard over there, making sure that I don't damage anything. I think she wants to kill herself. First time she's done a job like this. Okay, let's roll. Hold that. Move on the back flag. Absolutely fucking not. So we just got to London. We drove all of today. I hate going to a city and not seeing the dolls. So we're gonna go to heaven now before I shoot tomorrow. I'm not gonna have a crazy one, I don't drink. So gonna head over there, say hi, do the thing, and then go to sleep and get up for tomorrow's shoot. We're in London, day, day three. Day three of like the project, day two of shooting. We're shooting some of my favorite looks here in London. We are off to location number one. We've just taken some really beautiful headshots. This is my favorite look. It's so dark fire. I love it. I'm so excited for today. Smuggled me in the back of the van. It's a little bit more difficult. I'm dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire in like neon floral Balenciaga. It takes one person to get a photo and put it on Twitter and it kind of like ruins the reveal, so. Good. Yeah, you can just keep walking. Um, do them down here. That's the face, and then the back. Fire. One, two, three. I'm D, I'm literally, I can't. I'm a shell of a human right now. Mm. Yeah. 
And here we are, three months later, 27 years since we were first introduced to the nostalgic, heartwarming character of Mrs. Doubtfire. A movie that no matter where I am in the world, captivates people's attention, invokes emotions, memories. I have so much to thank, not only to Robin, but to the movie that enabled me as a young queer kid to think it's okay to be different, to be creative, to embrace your femininity. Growing up in a broken family in which one parent was willing to do anything to be with their children, you have no idea how much that means to me. I did this project because it enabled me to be someone so unlike someone that I normally am. To submerge myself in a character, it was a dream come true. I wouldn't have been able to do this without the incredible people behind me. Grant Thomas, the photographer who brought this most magical life together with an incredible, captivating story. We talk about team. My mum, I have to thank you for everything you did, for believing in me, for allowing your kids to think bigger than most parents would want their kids to, to dream. Balenciaga, you have made this boy's dreams come true. This is normally the part that I leave you with until next time. But what better way to end this than a very special message from someone I owe my life to. You're only given a little spark of madness. You mustn't lose it, dears.